Hi there, this is Mark from Mark's Reviews and Tutorials and I'm going to show you here how to fit in a uh, lower control arm for the rear of an E60 BMW. Uh, now I'm actually going to put it onto an E61 which is a station wagon. So it's exactly the same part for both station wagon and sedan uh, but with the E61 you've actually got airbag suspension and uh, you've got to fiddle around with that and actually let the airbag down in order to um, change this part out. So I've got all the detail for that. But if you just did an E60 sedan, then this is going to help you out as well. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we've got the wheel off and uh, this here is what you call the lower control arm. Don't ask me why. It's right up above the axle and it's pretty much the same height as that other one over there. But uh, that's what they're calling it. It's a lower control arm. So I've uh, put the WD-40 on to that um, bolt over here. And uh, now what I'm going to do, you can see this has got an adjustment on. So I'm going to get a, a Sharpie or a texture and mark it so I can put that back into the same position. Um, you definitely want to get your wheel alignment done after you've been playing with suspension parts anyway, just to make sure you don't do anything crazy to your tyres. Um, and then down this end, there's a ball joint and I've hit that up with a lube as well. So it's a bit easier to get off. And uh, again, it will have, see that on the end of the nut there, um, point with this. There, that's got flat edges on it. So we'll put a spanner and hold it as we undo that. Um, that's how we get it off. We'll get that out of there and swap over a new one. Okay, so I've marked that up so we can get it all back in the same spot. But you'll also notice, see the welded on washer of that bolt. We're not going to be wanting to try and reef that and turn it. Oh, sorry, it's focusing on the airbag there. Um, because it's got that big offset on it, which is all part of the one thing. So we're going to need to be actually spinning and undoing on the nut over here. And that we're just going to um, hold in place. Okay, so all of these bolts, both sides of that and also the head down here, a 16 millimeter. 16 millimeter, but it's not a great fit on the 16, I must admit. I'm getting a little bit better fit out of a 5 8 Now, sorry BMW for saying that, but... Um, the uh, 16 is, it's it's on and good, but look, it's, it's not like it's a super tight fit on the nut. And a 17 is too big and a 14 is too small. So the 5 8 is actually the best fit. Um, call me crazy, but whatever. Um, that's the reality. So it's 16 for the big bolts, both up that end and uh, down here. Now you see how that has slipped down as that I've done it? So that we know, because of the, um, Sharpie or texture mark on it, we're going to be able to get that back into the right position when we put it back in. And down here, it's a 6mm um, that you have got the little spline out the end, and that's how we can hold it in order to undo it. So 6 and 16. So this is an E61. We're talking a station wagon rather than E60 sedan. The difference, of course, is that E61 has self-leveling suspension. It has airbags in it. That is full and tight and that has caused this to jam up. When I've come to try and take this bolt out, it's uh, pushed back. You can see there it's right back on the edge of that slot um, and pressed it back so that bolt doesn't want to come out. And even if I forced it and rammed it out, I am going to damage the bolt, but it's going to shoot back and I'm never going to get the new one in. So I did think initially that pressing down, that would be pulling the other way, but that wishbone on the bottom is actually cantilevered. So pushing down is pushing up because of the cantilevers, you can't quite see it, just trust me. So it's putting too much pressure on this um, control arm, which is pushing forward. And it would be the same if you were changing that control arm. So what we need to do is uh, access the compressor, which is just under this back corner here. You pull a couple of fuses so it doesn't fill itself and run, and then undo um, some nuts here to let the air out and uh, that will solve the problem. You can have a look up here. You'll see whether it's a little blue or a red airline. So you undo the right one um, under here. Now have a look, I'll put a link up right here for how to replace airbags or replace these airbags because everything I've just talked about is in that video. So I'm not gonna make another video for the same thing. Have a look at that one in the link and it shows you how to take that cover off. It shows you how to undo the nuts um, shows you how to pull the fuses, it does the whole lot. So have a look at that video. If you've got an E61, the wagon, because you do need to depressurize those airbags so that you can get either of those control arms off. 
Okay, so we're in the wheel well. You'll see there's the two, uh, the blue is coming to this side, to the um, right hand side. And I'm letting the pressure out now. I've taken the cover off, pulled the two fuses. It's all in the other fuse, uh, all in the other video. So have a look at that one. I won't double it up here. And just letting the air out, which will soften up that airbag. Um, I can even let it out a little bit more. And then we should be able to get that bolt out without any stress at all. This is working. Um, the pressure's just started to come out of the bag. See here, I can press it now. And already, that bolt that was just absolutely jammed, it's just come, all the pressure's come off it, and I can now move it in and out with my hands. But even still, um, you also have to press it into the bag in order to get the control arm out. So you definitely have to let the airbag down. There's no other way about it. I was wondering if I could just jack up the wheel and re release the pressure in that way. But if I'd done that, I still wouldn't be able to get that bolt out because it would um, bang into the airbag. We'd need that soft so that we can get the bolt out. Um, might just wonder if that's far enough. While we've got the camera here. That is far enough. Look at that. She's out. Now we can undo it at the bottom and put it all back together. But yes, that is pushing into the airbag. I'm not gonna leave that like that. Okay, here we go. So we're on the other side now. And uh, remembering that this is um, the bolts that are part of the wheel alignment process. So again, I've marked it on this side. And on this side, with the big um, countersink head on it, we don't go reef it and turn it on that nut. All of the action comes on this end. So we hold from the marked side. Uh, we hold from that side and we undo the nut from this side. The little castellated nut is on this end. So we pull that out and again, we have to um, let the air out of the airbag, A, so the bolt can get out and B, so that it's not putting too much pressure on there. So that's the next step. Uh, again, as I said, have a look at the link that's earlier in the video. I'll put one in the end cards as well uh, for the air shock absorber video so you know what fuses to pull. To pull. And then down in front of the compressor, there's a little box and you can just undo the um, airbags one at a time to um, let the air out. This is the bolt um, that you take off on the back of that, which goes through the big bush. You can see here the big offset washer. That's not a washer, it's actually tight. You can see the mark on there, so I get it back in the same spot. So when they make the adjustments, they just turn that and it moves um, the alignment of the wheel. So that's how they make that adjustment. And it does it on both sides. You see you've got notches in there, quite deep notches. Um, the castellated knot, which the castle, by the way, goes to the outside when you screw it back on. Um, and then the washer, have a look at that for a washer, like a little ghost or something. Um, you have to actually line that up with the two slots. Slots are there and there. And the slots, now the shiny side goes against, and then the little nut goes on the top, as you can see. So it needs to go that way. And we stick that on like that. See, it slides on. You look at that and you think, oh, that's never going to go on there, but it does. And what happens when you make the adjustment this end, it makes the same adjustment at the other end. So it moves this thing square. Um, and then the off and on is done from here. Whatever you do, don't reef on this. It'll muck up your adjustments and all the rest of it on that end. So don't try and unscrew it from that end. You've got to unscrew it from that end. And you've got to put that washer on right so that it can um, be adjusted for your four-wheel wheel alignment. And when you've had it off, get a four-wheel wheel alignment done. Don't cheap out on that. Um, that's absolutely vital, because otherwise it'll chew your tires out. You'll spend a whole lot more on tires than what you'll save not getting a four-wheel wheel alignment done. So that's how it goes together. And get a four, even if you've marked it, get a four-wheel wheel alignment done once you've been replacing parts like that. Now, just to cap off, you see, I've got that line. This is going right now down for a wheel alignment, so I don't have to get that perfect. But, you know, it's not in back to front or upside down or anything else. So I've got it um, lined up where it needs to be. And uh, the same on that side. You have to get the, that bolt head has to go back into that slot. So you've got to line it up. When I say that slot, I'm talking the slot there. There's that little U-shape in there. The bolt and wash has to go into that. It can't be sitting up on top. And the same, that um, washer I showed you needs to go into the slot on that side. There's the um, end of the nut there and the bolt. So you can see the top of the slot up there. The slot again has to go in so it's all flat and then you do it up nice and tight. Same, this end here 
do it up nice and tight. Now the, the one I've got, the face is here, can look a bit concerning as to, oh, it hasn't pulled up, it hasn't gone up, but the ceiling face is actually there, that edge, and that's pulled up beautiful and tight. Again, set to BT, because it's suspension. All good. We'll send him down, get a wheel alignment, and uh, this car's ready to go.